what is going on? Welcome back. I hope you guys, as always, are having the best day ever. Before I get started, guys, if you are new here, please subscribe if you haven't already done that. We're on the road to 38,000 subscribers, and I would like you to join me on this journey. So hit subscribe right now and join the fam. And also, guys, go follow me on all my social media links are in the description. I have Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, so go follow me on all of those. And once again, I am coming back at you guys with another creepy video, and today we're officially on episode 34 of Paranormal America traveling the 50 states of the United States, heading west to east and looking at all the creepy stuff that's happened in each state along the way. Which currently brings us to Michigan. So that is right guys, today we are talking about an urban legend which takes place mostly in Michigan, some parts of Minnesota, some parts of Wisconsin, but more the, the North Country areas, uh, but mostly with Mich Michigan, Mississauga, Michigan. And today we are talking about the legend of Dogman. So the Michigan Dogman is a cryptozoo cryptozoological that is that how you say it is that how you say it cryptozoological creature which was first reported in 1887 and this took place in wexford county michigan the creature has been described as a seven foot tall blue-eyed bipedal canine with the torso of a man this creature has also been reported to have a fearsome howl but it sounds a lot like a human scream. According to the legend, the Dogman appears in a 10 year cycle. Sightings of this creature have been reported in several different locations across Michigan, primarily in the northwestern quadrant of the Lower Peninsula. In the year 1987, the creature got a lot more popularity because of a disc jockey who wrote a song about this creature and its sightings. The Dogman legend was also very unknown to the rest of the world until the late 20th century. Apparently, this thing has been stalking around the area of the Manistee River since going back as long as the Ottawa tribes lived there. The first reported sighting of this creature were back in 1887 in Wexford County when two lumberjacks saw this thing and reported seeing it have a man's body and a dog's head. It has also been spotted in the Upper Peninsula by locals. Horses that had died from fright were found nearby, surrounded by dog tracks. In the year 1938 in Paris, Michigan, a guy named Robert Fortney was attacked by five wild dogs. But strangely, when he come to make his report, he said that one of the five dogs was walking on two legs. Reports of similar creatures had come from Allegan County in the 1950s and in Manistee and Cross Village in 1967. Now over time, people have looked into this, people have researched, people have hunted this thing and there is just, there's a lot of um, controversial kind of proof. There is a lot of video footage out there, even going back as far as the 1950s, where it's like black and white, and it's really hard to like uh, manipulate those kind of cameras. People believe those are genuinely real, but it's a lot harder now with te modern technology that it, people can easily superimpose things and Photoshop things, and there's a lot of great Photoshop people out there who can really pull this off. But that being said, there is still footage out there that people just can't describe. Like professional Photoshop people have looked at it and said, there is no signs that this has been tampered with at all. This is a genuine picture. Now my question for all of you is, do you believe this is real or do you believe this is fake? That is question of the day. Let me know in the comment section. And also guys, I also want to ask you guys a big favor. Um, I would love for you guys to help me reach 50,000 subscribers pretty soon. I know we'll get there eventually by the way we're growing, but I would love you guys to help me get there faster. I'm actually going to New York in a week. Today, actually, today's Sunday. I'm going to, to New York in a week. So um, I would love to hit like 50,000 subscribers by the time I go there. Um, so if you guys would do me the biggest favor ever and just go on one of my videos find your favorite video right now and just copy the link and just post it on your Facebook or Twitter or whatever social media you have just post it on there and let your friends see and see if we can get up to 50,000 subscribers because that's like an insane number halfway to a hundred then I'll get the silver play button and it's just unbelievable like it's an unbelievable number so if you guys would really just 
be awesome enough to do that for me, I would really appreciate it. And also, you guys know I've started this thing called Random Fact of the Day, where I like to poison your heads with powerful knowledge so that y'all don't have to go to school anymore. And today's Random Fact of the Day is... Did you know a day on Venus is actually longer than a year on Earth? I'll be goddamned. That is a long day. I don't think I could live in Venus, guys. If we ever, if this, when this world goes to crap, I won't be able to evacuate to Venus. I just won't be able to do it. I'm gonna go and live on Mars or Jupiter or Uranus. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below and let's see if we can go for 2 million likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. And remember the most important thing, guys. Chase your dreams. I love you guys. Or Uranus. Sorry.